So what is successive contrast? You'll need to keep your eyes on the center of the image and we're going to be fatiguing the photoreceptors in your eye. It takes just a few seconds, so you'll need to keep staring at the countdown timer in the center of the screen. And essentially what you're looking at here is a color negative of a landscape photo. We're going to be replacing that here in just a few seconds. So keep staring at the center, and you should see the original color. But you'll notice that if you move your eyes off to the side or you look away, the color is going to disappear and you're just looking at a black and white version of that photo. Essentially what we've done is we've fatigued those photoreceptors and the color that you see is just the brain compensating for that fatigue and that's successive contrast.